Live from Stockholm, Sweden, Fight Club Rush presents three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, his record one defeat, weighing in at 77.3 kilograms, fighting out of France. He is the Panthera of Israel, Mikhail Kawame! And his opponent in the red corner, he is undefeated at two wins, weighing in at 77.6 kilograms, fighting out of Serbia, Ongen Babic! Your referee in charge of the action, Matthias Quedian. Okay, the excellent Matthias Quedian in charge of this welterweight action as we see Michael Pantera of Israel Kwame in the blue corner against Serbia's undefeated prospect Ognen Babic in the red. Here we go. Yesterday I asked Kwame about the sparring with Marvin Vittori and he had nothing but good things to say. He said he loved the intensity that Vittori brings every, to every single sparring session. A bit higher paced this fight yeah. right away. Two very different fighters. Yeah, absolutely. It, it feels like almost an old school matchup because you have kind of two specialists colliding here. I see Kwame looking very comfortable on the feet, just pawing with that jab. Babic is about as stoic as they come. I think I've seen him smile once. I have a feeling that he's going after that outside single leg he's because uh, Pantera is a uh, southpaw. That's a good point then. Then, then his leg is like super uh, available. And Kwame, really a citizen of the world. He lives in Stockholm now, born in Paris, but has roots in the Ivory Coast. Double underhooks here for Babic. See if he can take him down. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, he's trying to run him down. Great balance there. Yeah, the defense from uh, Kwame holding up pretty well. I mean, his body type, Kwame's body type is... Uh, I think Babic needs to take him down uh, by, um, by body lock because he has such long legs as well. Oh, seemed like we might have got any low blow there. Causes a stop to the action. So we let Ognem Babic get a bit of a breather here. So far, Kwame seems very hard to take down. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, you know, uh, Pani, trying to take Kwame down might, you know, body locks might be a key to that, but I feel like the single leg might be there. That right leg from that southpaw stance, if uh, Babic can just get a hold of that single leg and really drag him down that way, maybe. Yes, because it's the closest yeah. uh, to him. It's the easiest way for him to get in, especially uh, Kwame being so lengthy and far away from him with his hands. And that's the thing with single legs, though, that in MMA, like, you you, 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 you grab, like, both hands on one leg. That mm -hmm. means your opponent has your hands yes. as well. So. Yes. That left high kick of uh, Kwame just whizzed by Babic's head earlier on. But I'm impressed by Babic's stand-up as well. He's not afraid to test himself. He's very wild. Yeah, oh. well, he seems kind of willing to sort of throw some exotic techniques. Oh. Oh. Looked like Kwame maybe rolled his ankle or something. Oh, no. He spun and then yeah, he had like an awkward step. 
Really nice solid onslaught there for the Serb. But Kwame is uh, very elusive. Yes. Uh, every time uh, Babic is trying to enter, you can see that he's backing out. Yes. Yeah, Kwame is hard to hit. I just feel like Kwame needs to get his distance going here. He's kind of, even though he has long limbs, but he's falling short with his punches. Yeah. Oh, nice oblique kick. It's like both fighters are having a hard time connecting. Yeah, exactly. He's like, even though he's stretching his arm, he's not really getting his body into it. He's not reach. He's reaching for it, but it's not connecting. Might be because he's scared of the takedown, so yeah. he doesn't want to commit his hips. I was just thinking that he doesn't want to extend yeah. himself too far, risk getting tied up, maybe mm -hmm. taken down. Oh. oh! Nice high kick there from Babic. I like the aggressiveness from Bobby. And I'm not surprised to see him throw kicks because let's say Kwame catches the kick and, mm. you know, gets the trip, takes him down. That's kind of where Bobby wants to be anyway. I mean, yes. he, he won't say no, you know, being in bottom position on the ground when he's such a skilled submission artist. Or if Kwame just counters and wants to kick him back, then he can capitalize on that, take yep. him down. But I do feel Kwame's breathing is kind of heavier right now. Yeah. Kwame is dipping his head down into dangerous territory. To the left. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be careful about that. Well, that's a downside from if he dips his uh, head to the left from Southpaw, uh, Babik's uh, right kick is yep. right in the face. Right oh, there. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of that action from round number one. Nice solid onslaught there from Babic. Yeah, that was the trip you talked about, CM, when he was doing the, the spinning attack. I like the kick from Babich. I wouldn't mind seeing more of that, to be honest, especially if he's chasing, because then it's like if your opponent's on the back foot, they're probably not going to be able to counter successfully anyway. He's been holding uh, Pantera on his back legs the whole round. Yeah. He's very good. Okay, second round here in this welterweight contest between France's Michael Kwame and Serbia's Ognjan Babic. Nice inside leg kick there for Babic. Babic coming in a little more aggressive here. I suspect that his corner didn't like how relatively close that first round was. Nice double shots there for Bobic. Ooh, nice solid kick to the body for Kwame. He has a lot of power in those kicks. Nice torque to the hips. I feel like uh, Pantera is more uh, offensively sound. In, in the striking, in the defense, he kind of dips down awkwardly, backs out a little too much. He's not there to counter. Yes. Um, he could move away a lot less yes. and, and be there so he can counter, but... Yeah, you're right. He's doing a couple of the, you know, basic stuff. Well, the, uh, like you said, with dipping of the head and everything, and it only takes one shot. Oh, spinning back fist. You can break your hand with that. Mostly blocked, though. I mean, I want to see grappling of Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We'll go with the single leg, but yeah, you can you can definitely see that uh, Kwame has worked a lot on his takedown defense. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. As I say that, end up in full guard here. We don't want to jinx anybody, but that was good. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I mean, he is such a hyped-up fighter, signed now to JDZ management. I mean, obviously, he's coming in there with a lot of hype. He's got all of Serbia behind him. Serbia, which was also the, the host of the uh, IMF World Championships this year. So I'm sure they, you know, there's a lot of wind in their sails, so to speak. There's oh. the pass going for the Kimura. This is his thing. This is his thing. Beautiful Kimura trap to the back. And now he's this. holding it tight. Yeah. Can he transition to an armbar, maybe? Ends up on his back, does Bobic. Okay, he's got Kwame in his guard. Just under two minutes left to work. He kind of uh, lost that position for his submission. I would want to see him more on top. Yeah. Or that ground and pound and show us his offensive, but his, his guard is slick. And it's hard to work off your back when you got the cage behind you because you need that space. Um, but you can see that he's keeping his legs, he, he's not closing his guard. That's keeping good. the legs open, yeah. Being active, locking down that right hand. Pantera not doing too much right now. And it's smart for uh, Kwame to, to take a breather here. Yes. And kind of catch your breath and then try to advance. It, it, like you said, he it, he he just needs to take a breather. But why are they standing that up? I think due to inactivity. But that was okay. I do not agree. I thought it was activity enough, but yeah, it was pretty quick. Yeah. On the outside, like it connects there for Kwame. Oh, just be careful with that dipping yeah. of the head. Yeah, you know you're right, Sim. He. The way that Kwame carries himself defensively is a little... Uh, sometimes I even think that it, the strikes look more damaging than they are just because of his body language. Yeah. Yes. Something, uh, sometimes they just glance like through... Like they're not even hitting him. But, it's, but it looks worse than it is. Yeah. You ride about... Oh. Yeah, nice job. But if my eyes aren't failing me, it looks like uh, Kwame is good at dishing it out, but taking it. And when he receives the pressure, when he receives strikes, he's... he's ah, there are so many counters there yeah. that yeah. are not yeah. happening. Yeah. He kind of, like, lets it go as soon as he, as he hits. He doesn't take back his hands where they belong, mm. to, back to his yeah. face. Yeah, that's a good point. Yes. I know exactly what you know. <laughs> and a solid jab there for Francis Kwame. Okay, so we go to a third round. Neither of these fighters have ever been there has pros before. In fact, I don't believe any of them has been passed the third round, if I, my memory doesn't fail me. Very good submission defense from Pantera. Yeah. Hey. It really looks like he's been working on that. He's clearly done his homework. And I mean, I guess when you know that you're facing such a skilled grappler, that's all you do, right? You just drill defense, defense, defense. Just out of the equation, that was a nice solid kick to the body there for Bobic. I'm 
really impressed by Bobby's kicks, to be yeah. honest. For being such a good grappler, he's been working on his craft. Oh, the, for sure. The oblique kicks from Pantera are good, too. He just needs to use them when Bobby is moving forward. Ooh, nice left kick. Yeah, that high kick hit the guard, but, you know, he can still do a lot of damage yeah. even through the guard. Ooh. It's a shot. Yep. Single leg. See if he can dump. He doesn't look too interested in doing like the classic single leg takedown. No. He wants to work against the cage and connect his hands. Which I think it's a little inadvisable with the type of body type that yes. uh, Kwame has. I think the single leg should be more than enough. Daniel Cormier had a lot of success with the single leg in MMA. And he was always the shorter always. guy. <laughs> always shorter. But this, the, the front leg was always there. Look at Daniel Cormier versus Volkan Özdemir. It's a good example. Great point. Yeah, because I think with the body type of Pantera, like you said, you need to get the job done. You can't stand around and hanging there because it takes too much of your power. He's losing a lot of time. And he gets tired and he, maybe he gets turned. <gasps> That's that a connected. nice shot off the break there for Kwame. Oh. Oh. But what's that, a drop or is there a slip? Uh, slip. That, slip. Yeah. I think Kwame is wearing his tiredness on his face. He's wearing it too much. Yeah. I mean, Bobby is just like you said, stoic. Yeah, his mouth is just a little more open, but facial expression is the same. Yeah, that was a labored kick there from Bobic. Bobic is feeling it as well. Yeah. For sure. Well, he's been working really hard trying to get this fight to the mat, and yeah. once he finally did, he lost the position. Yeah, and that takes a lot out of you. Just over two minutes left here in our third and final round. Ooh! Oh! Kwame connected heavily there. Oh, Bobby just might just hurt. Oh! But look at that! Wow. Bobby just needs to cross face here. Ah, there was a technical mistake there. He could have kept uh, Kwame on the ground. He had his arm on the wrong side. But he is hurt as well, so... Well, this is a great opportunity for him to sort of regain his composure. Oh, nice work. Nice work. Nice fight to the mat. Beautiful. About 90 seconds to work here for Babic. Yeah, that half guard is shallow. Half guard is very open. He yeah, like you pass. said before, you can, you can step over that. It's open. It's, it's right wide there. open. Wide open. Babic is probably going to pass. Babish perhaps will still clearing some of those cobwebs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, nice cross face. And he needs to get some offensive yeah. going because they stood them up last time really quickly. Yeah, once again, the referee calling for some more activity. But, but this is activity. Working on the ground, this is really good. I agree. From Bobby. However, he is not trying to advance position, but uh, yeah, he's landing some small strikes. Now here's the pass. No. Yeah, both fighters are very tired. About 20 seconds left of our last preliminary bout. And after that, you guys can all switch over to UFC Fight Pass to catch the main card. I'm very excited for the main card. Yes. Oh, 
Okay, looks like we will go to a decision. Take a look at the replay here. Babich really landing heavily there on Kwame, but Kwame landed at the end of the third round. Yes. Connected heavily. Let's see if we we're going to see that as well. But this is the story of the fight. Also, um, Babich trying to take Kwame down repeatedly. Most successful ones, but couldn't hold them down. Yeah. I mean, I would say this is kind of a hard fight to judge. You yeah, never know sure. if they're going to, um, if if that was a knockdown or it was, you never know how they're mm. going to judge that round, That's the third true. one. Yeah, as we await Ricky Wright again with the scorecards, entering the cage right now. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have it 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Ongyan Babic. Okay, I'm here for your winner, Ongyan Babic. That was a tough fight, a real war. How do you three after three, feel after three hard rounds? I was very happy. How three rounds? I was ready for this. I thought I was ready for three rounds. Spremio sam se dobro, odradio sam, bio sam bolji. Hvala, hvala svim ljudima koji su došli da me podrže. Hvala Srbima koji su došli ovde zbog mene najviše. Hvala vam ljudi, hvala mom timu, mom treneru, moje braći iz CDS-a. Hvala vam za sve. I was very well prepared for this. Uh, I was expecting three rounds. I feel like I was the better fighter, and I believe that I uh, deserve the win today. All right, I'm sure you did. And I guess after a strong performance, after a super tough guy, what's next for Ognjen Babic? After a hard opponent, what is next for Ognjen Babic? I want a stronger and tougher opponent. All right, well, I'm sure we can give you one on June 3rd of the next Fight Club Rush. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your winner, Ognen Babic.